Hi, I'm Alexander Vlad, and I'm going to introduce you to Aftershot Pro's easy-to-use adjustment tools. They're going to help you bring out the best in your photos. Most of the tools that you'll typically need to edit with are found in the Basic Adjustments tab, which you can locate in the Standard tab of the Tools panel. Other tabs, such as Color, Tone, and Detail, can give you much more advanced controls and options. At the top of the Basic Adjustments, we have Auto Level. Auto Level examines the tonal range of your image and then sets the black and white points to be at places such that a fixed percent of the image will be pure black and pure white. The two boxes next to Auto Level define the clipping points for black and white as a percentage of the total image. For many images that are a bit dull due to imperfect exposure, Auto Level is a quick way to enhance them. Perfectly Clear by Authentech is a simple way to quickly optimize your images as it optimizes the lighting for each and every pixel while maintaining true color with zero clipping. Perfectly Clear removes abnormal tint and restores faded photos while using medical imaging technology to improve contrast and sharpening. There are three settings within Perfectly Clear which control how much tint adjustment is applied when Perfectly Clear is enabled. Okay, so first off, we have Tint Max, and this applies to the full range of tint correction. Next up, we have Tint Min. This limits the tint correction, allowing some tint change to occur, but preserving some of the original tint. And lastly, we have Tint Off, which as you'd guessed it, turns the tint correction off. All other aspects of Perfectly Clear are still applied, but you'd typically use this kind of setting to preserve the color of your original image. For raw images, you can select among several preset white balance settings, such as As Shot, Click White, and Custom Kelvin. Different light sources have different characteristics or warmth that affect how your camera captures images. White balance lets you adjust the overall color in the image, ensuring that the colors are accurately reproduced in your photos. You can select a white balance preset, such as Sunny, Shady, Tungsten, or Flash, or you can use the Click White tool on RAW, JPEG, or TIFF files to select a neutral colored object in your image, which will adjust all the colors in your image to make the point that you clicked on neutrally colored. In the preview panel, experiment by clicking in a neutral area of your photo. The ideal place to click is on a neutral gray that is not overexposed, pure white, or underexposed, down to pure black. Clicking on different spots will result in different corrections as you see here. To fine tune white balance, we have to adjust the temperature slider. Note that all sliders in Aftershot Pro can be controlled by either dragging them with the mouse or by hovering the mouse over them and using the scroll wheel. Clicking on the slider or using the mouse wheel will increment or decrement the values by 0.1 or 10, depending on the range of values used for the specific controls. Here we have the straighten tool. To straighten your image, you can either use the straighten slider or you can drag and draw a horizontal or vertical line that you can use as a guide along the straight edge in your photo. Here we have exposure. Exposure performs an overall exposure correction, either brightening or darkening all portions of your image. Highlight recovers detail from overexposed portions of an image, and then the range slider below adjusts the tolerance of the highlight adjustments. Next we have Fill Light. Fill Light brightens shadows and darker portions of the image without overexposing highlights and with minimal effect on midtones. The black slider controls the black point in the image. The values lower than zero remove black from the image, while values higher than zero simply just darken the image. The histogram section displays the changes to the image accordingly. Underneath that, we have contrast. Now, increasing contrast will make the dark areas in the image darker and the bright areas brighter. Below contrast, we have saturation. Saturation adjusts the intensity of the colors in an image. High saturation settings boost colors and provide rich, vivid color, while low saturation settings produce pastels and more muted colors. Setting saturation to zero will result in pure monochrome black and white image. Closely related to saturation is vibrance. Vibrance is a version of saturation that performs a more gentle correction to skin and other areas of the image that are already richly saturated. Think of it as a punchiness slider, but only for saturated areas. Hue changes the colors in an image by rotating the color wheel by an amount indicated by the slider. For example, if the hue slider is set to 60, then 60 is added to the original hues in your image. So greens are shifted to become cyan, blues shifted to become magenta, and reds will become yellow. And next we have sharpening. Sharpening an image makes the high detail portions of the image stand out more by making the edge details more pronounced. The raw noise slider reduces noise levels in raw files only. However, it doesn't work with JPEGs or TIFFs. Next, we have keywords. At the bottom of the basic adjustments section is a text box 
where you can add specific keywords to the photo's metadata to help manage your photo collection. The more keywords you assign to your images, the easier it will be to find that particular image or ones like it later again. Now you know how to apply basic adjustments to your photographs in Aftershot Pro. It makes it even easier that most of these commonly used sliders and tools are grouped together under the basic adjustments section. I highly recommend you get a comfortable command with these tools as they'll help you reach your destination sooner. You'll be spending a lot more time with the camera in your hand and a lot less time editing. I'm Alexander Vlad for Aftershot Pro. Thanks for watching.